So, you want to farm the Maverick Gauntlet? Well, this video is all about that. What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel, Panda here, and today I bring you another video for Knighthood. And today we're going to talk about what I just said, farming the Maverick Gauntlet. Now, <clears throat> the Maverick Gauntlet is probably one of, if not the best gauntlet in the game, but it takes a long time to get. If you come down here, you can see it takes 50,000 punches or 10,000 gems to unlock it. Well, I have a method that I have talked to with multiple people uh, about, and I have I've tested myself as well now, um, and it seems like it's a good method, so I want to share it with you guys so you guys can see. Now, you're probably thinking, well, why is the Maverick Gauntlet so important? Like, why can't I just get it with time? Well, if you look right here, you'll see that the magic the Maverick Gauntlet has this ability right here called Guile. Guile fills rage by 10% when you land a critical hit. That's not just with the Gauntlet. That's with your weapons as well. Which means that you can sword, shield, or sword, hammer, axe, whatever, and get rage, which is huge. <sighs> So guys, let's just get right into it. I made this graphic right above me, bink, and you can see here that this kind of goes over everything you need to know about the Maverick Gauntlet. But I want you guys to keep in mind that this is an end game technique, which means that it is going to take a end game player to get there. First thing you need to do is defeat Kren Rockshaw in story mode. Probably one of the hardest fights there is for the early game to mid game player. But once you beat him, you unlock this method. And that method is right here in the monster cave. You can fight Kren Rockjaw in here. So we're not going to go through a whole fight because it takes quite a while to do a whole fight. But I'm just going to go over basically what this graphic up here says and give you a rough estimate and my thoughts on this. <clears throat> so. Once you have unlocked Kren in the Monster Cave, you can go in there six times a day on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays, which means you get 18 attempts per week. Step three of this is to only punch and heal. I recommend bringing Titania and another base power healer like Wormwood or Anara. Um, you're going to repeat this three round turn order, which is to punch four times punch four times and then to punch two times and heal two times one being a rage heal and one being a base heal i do recommend that if you have titania at four star you do not use her base power <clears throat> as it gives you crit chance which is going to increase the damage you deal and the goal of here is to deal as little damage as possible while still able to kill the boss do this for a total of 50 rounds or as many as you can get and profit so I did some math. Um, I used math from the We the North Guild who's helped me out in previous videos, particularly Ninja Looter and Huna who provided the base for this method as well as the beginning parts of the math. All I did was put it into word format and expand on it a little bit. So assuming that you do this exact method, <clears throat> you will get 10 punches and two heals every three rounds. If you survive the entire 50 rounds, you will have 50 rounds divided by three round um, uh, turn orders, right? Which gives you 16 full run throughs of the total three round turnover. Which means that in a 50 round fight, you will get 160 punches and 32 heals per match. Now the Maverick Gauntlet requires 50,000 punches, which means that you'll have to do this 312.5 times. I rounded up to 313 because you can't do half a run, right? Um, now, do keep in mind that every other punch counts towards this total. You are not going to have to run this 313 times. This math is simply based on only doing this if you didn't punch in any other section of the game then it would take you 313 entrances that is not the case here okay um so this is the math that was provided to me by huna ninja looter and the we the north guild and i went ahead and i expanded on it by doing a little more math so seeing as how you can only enter the monster cave six times per day um and you ass we assume that you have six torches to do so, then this method will take roughly 52 days to complete, 
okay? Because you have 313 attempts that you need to do, and it takes, you can get six per day, so it's roughly 52 days to complete, which breaks down to 17 weeks or f roughly a little more over four months to farm because Kren is only available on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. <clears throat> so if you do this method, I recommend you set aside an hour, maybe two, to see if you can get as many punches as possible. I do want you to keep in mind that when you're doing the normal stages, you are not going to be able to get the full 50 rounds. You are going to be too high level. Your gauntlet's going to deal too much damage, but try to get as much as possible. I was able to get about 30 to 40 rounds on my first two attempts. Um, I do believe I could squeeze out maybe a little bit more, um, but I do believe I'm able to get quite a bit of um, uh, punches in, even on normal. So the first time you do this, you're going to clear, you're going to do all five on normal, you'll get into expert. I think expert is where you're going to hit that sweet spot when you first start. Obviously, as you level up, you get closer to 40 or 45. You may need to move on to master to be able to do this truthfully, um, successfully with the full 4-4-2-2 combo. <clears throat> so we've talked about the method. I want to talk about something a little bit different and that is specifically why this gauntlet is as good as it is and we've already talked a little bit about that um, which is the fact that you can crit to gain rage um, it has the same normal bonuses increase your health by 15 percent punches do 30 percent damage swords do nine percent damage now this is a big deal um, because if you look at all of the weapons that you have access to which we can see in the vault here <clears throat> if i go to equipment chest and i look at what's inside you can see that of the unique weapons one two oops sorry we'll go back out one two three four five of the nine uniques are swords that's a big deal, right? That's more than 50% of the unique weapons in the end game are swords, which means when you're using five of the nine weapons, you're going to get that boost to your damage, which is a big deal. The next reason why, once I get back in there, <clears throat> is um, mage hero normal powers charge 20% faster. Now this is really good because one of the biggest uh, heroes in the game right now is probably Vordry and Titania, who are both mages, which means that you're going to get the burn from Vordry and the heal from Titania 20% faster, which is phenomenal because that's going to increase your total damage and survivability over the course of the fight tenfold. Warrior boosts deal 3% damage with normal powers. This is great because there are quite a few warriors in the game that are pretty strong late game, such as Dvalin. Um, that you have the Maverick boost. Maverick heroes do 3% damage with rage powers. There are quite a few strong Maverick heroes as well. In fact, I believe that there's a Maverick warrior that's really good. I don't remember who it is off the top of my head. If you guys know who that is, put that down in the comments. <laughs> But Maverick Warriors or Maverick Mages are going to be phenomenal with this build. You also have the Regen Punch. Punches have a 3% chance to give Regen. Now this is really, really good for me. I think that Regen is an incredibly strong buff due to the fact that it is stackable which means that you can stack on the amount of regens that you get, which is great because then you're not wasting the regen. Um, I think that regen punch is quite a good buff. Um, and then you have poison finisher, which is in most cases, you're not going to be punching four times in a row um, or really realistically even ending with a fourth punch uh, because most of the time, especially with how fast you're building uh, hero powers, you're going to be using a heal or you're going to be using a burn from Vordry. <clears throat> On your turn giving you only three punches uh, so you're not gonna really get a super successful chance to poison um, but it's a nice little bonus if you do end up finishing with a punch but overall guys the Maverick Gauntlet is definitely the way to go I personally am holding on to all of my um, 
uh, cores. Like you can see here, I haven't used any of my cores. Um, I am sitting on like a bunch of all of them just because I feel like it is the best option for me to hold on to those cores uh, so that I can put them all into the Maverick Gauntlet and make the Maverick Gauntlet just skyrocket in power once I get it and get a lot of progression that way. So guys, that is the tips for farming the Maverick Gauntlet. I am going to be putting this image on reddit and i will leave the reddit link down below in the description i am also going to be uploading it to my discord as well as the official knighthood discord so you guys can grab it from either of those resources if you liked this video please make sure to hit the like button and if you have any questions comments concerns or want to see me make a video where i actually show you this method leave a comment down below and i'll show you guys the method in action also guys thank you so much for all the love we've gotten so far on the channel we skyrocketed past 500 subs and went straight to 600 subs it was amazing but guys the next goal is a thousand when i hit a thousand subs and four thousand watch hours i'll be able to apply for the youtube partner program and with the amount of immense progress we've made in such a short amount of time i think i'm almost guaranteed to be able to be approved for that so let's hit a thousand subs by the end of april that is my goal for you guys so tell your friends let them know go sub to this guy he's cool he makes good content he's a good guy all right guys that is it for me if you guys like the video like i said make sure you like it leave a comment down below and i'll see you in the next one peace